welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Cherie, and I am a kindergarten teacher here in Delaware. Um, I am on my way to work, so I figured why not do either a week in the life or a day in the life. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure I look a little crazy with my scarf on, but if you know, you know. And usually I will ride into work with my scarf on, and then I'll take it off uh, when I get there. But majority of the days, I'm dropping off the baby to daycare, so the scarf comes off when we get to daycare. But anywho, I'm on my way to work. I don't have to take the baby to daycare today because he's staying home with his dad. And yeah, it's 7.06 right now. It literally takes me about seven minutes to get to work. That's how close I live to the school. So I'm gonna stop talking, make this drive to work, and I'll catch up with you when I get there. All right, so as you can see, I made it to my classroom. Um, I left my classroom a complete and total mess before we went uh, on winter break. I'll pan around and show you what it looks like. Don't judge, it is a mess. I know it's a mess, um, but at the last minute I had to go and pick up my son from daycare. So everything was left how it was. I didn't have time to clean, so I just left. So I'll pan around and show you what the classroom looks like. So currently I am standing at the back of my classroom outside of our bathroom. So this was done because their supplies were a mess. Um, they didn't have all the crayons that they needed in their little crayon box, so I emptied those. And then I just put the crayons in there. We had these bowls that we used for, I think an invest science investigation that we did. We did some painting. That was from when they made their edible Christmas trees. All of that is still there. I don't even know what's in these bags, to be honest. Yeah, so that stuff is there. I have all of this and then I have um, my desk my desk my teaching area is a mess I have to get it together because we have small groups this morning and yeah that's that so I made a to-do list before I left home so I want to get cracking on that to-do list it is um, 7 25 so I have an hour before the kids come in so I'm gonna go make copies first and then I'll come back to the classroom and get things done all right, so it is 8.25, well, 8.24. The kids will be in here any minute now. So I didn't get everything done that was on my to-do list, but I got majority of everything done on my to-do list. So I'll turn around and show you what I got done. I'm gonna step back because I have my kids' names on the desk, um, well, table, so, but yeah, I'll just show you. Okay. So I have their names on the desk. I decided to do them by color. So I have like the yellow table orange table, purple table, and then the pink table. Each table now has a three drawer cart. And then the first cart is just there, or first drawer is just their um, handwriting books. And then on top I have their green folders. So they put their papers in when they're finished. And I just have pencils on the table. And that's really all I got done. I took a majority of my time this morning because I had to take away as I was saying, I had to take away their old name tags and put the new name tags on. I switched around tables as well. So I had a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. But it's 825. The kids are getting ready to come in. So I have to go and I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so it is officially lunchtime. The kids are at lunch. I'm getting ready to sit down and eat my lunch. Um, I didn't really get much else done other than teaching the kids, obviously. Um, it's what 11:45, and they have to get picked up from lunch at seven after. So I don't have very much time to eat lunch. So when they come in from lunch, we do workplaces. We do, um, which is part of our math curriculum. Then we do our math small groups, and then we do our math lesson. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich that I have. Nothing fancy today, and then I'm going to prepare for the afternoon so hopefully when they go to specials I'll be able to check back in to let you know how our day has gone so far it is the end of the day it is 3 45 kids usually go home at 3 20 and <clears throat> our work day ends at 3 40 <clears throat> excuse me so I'm in my car on my way home from work 
Um, I wasn't able to come back on during my prep because I had so much to do. And I kind of got a lot of stuff done, but I kind of didn't get a lot of stuff done. I know I made copies for the rest of this week and I started making copies for next week. And then the rest of my copies, I'll leave for my aide to do. And she usually like run my copies and cut out whatever I need cut um, in the morning. So that's what she'll do when she gets in tomorrow. And I just usually leave it there for her. So I'm still trying to get everything back organized how we usually have it organized. Um, I just came back from maternity leave after Thanksgiving break. So I was only at work for about three weeks before we went on Christmas break. So I'm still trying to catch up and get things how I like them to be in my classroom. So tomorrow morning, I won't be able to get here as early as I did today because I have to drop the baby off at daycare. So tomorrow morning when I get in, I'm going to put out the students' morning work. I'm going to try to organize my thoughts in my teaching space so that I can leave uh, my lesson plans on my desk at the end of every day, which I like to do, especially now with the baby. With the baby, you, you really don't know like when you may have to call off if he's sick or whatever. So I'm just gonna try to have everything done and prepped. So I'm gonna stop talking, get home, take a shower, eat, and get some cuddle time with the baby. On my way to work, I just dropped the baby off at daycare right now. Um, so yeah, so in his little cubby, they made like, let me show you, calendars. It's been a pitiful job, but this is the calendar that they made. And it's so cute because they use like his little hands and his feet to make the different things. So I'm gonna hang it up at home it's so stinking cute but yeah so anyhow so i'm on my way to work his daycare is actually um <clears throat> 10 minutes from my school that i work in so it's not too far away and it's it's quick to get to easy to get to but typically i do drop off and my husband does pick up so that works out well that way but yeah i'm gonna stop talking focus on driving and I'll see you when I get to school. All right, so as you can tell, I made it to my classroom. Um, the kids will be here at 8.25. It's about 7.40 right now. I am going to redo the jobs. I may not redo every job um, on here. I think I'm just gonna do like the main jobs, which are line leader, caboose, technology, and substitute and teacher and training because those are the first well those are the main jobs that i need help with so i think i'm gonna do those first and then tomorrow i'll add on the other jobs so let me put you down take off all my stuff and then get the day started. okay so i am back in my classroom um for lunch the morning went pretty well we got a lot done that we plan to get done. And we even had um, an additional 30 minutes after ELA. Usually after ELA, we do writing, but on some days, um, we don't have a writing assignment. So I was able to get most of the jobs posted. I'll show you them, but I can't really show you them because I have like, my students' pictures and names up. So I'm gonna kind of step back as far as I can so you can see them. So let me flip the camera. All right, so there are the jobs. I still have to add um, a few more for a seat, stacker, supply supervisor, and desk director because each table will have one person do those jobs and I have four. So like I was saying, um, the morning went well. We got a lot of stuff done. I was able to hang up their jobs. Um, 
I'm going to wait to eat lunch. I just got school lunch today because I didn't pack a lunch from home. So I'm going to eat what the kids are eating, which is spaghetti. Today, just getting a fork. And then I'm going to update my teaching slides for math. Then we do math. Um, after math, we have related arts. Then we do share reading. So that's that. I'm getting ready to eat. Then get my slides updated as I eat and call it. Today is Thursday, January 5th. Um, as you can tell, I made it to my classroom. Um, so yesterday I was able to get a lot of stuff cleaned and put away. So I didn't leave my classroom as nearly as a mess as it has been lately. So this morning what I'm going to do is update my teaching slides because I didn't do that yesterday. And then I'm going to get everything set up for today, what we have to do. Um, I need to change over what we do for small group learning today. And then I think that's really it. The kids got their jobs reassigned yesterday. So they did majority of everything. So I had my paper pass, so he put out all their morning work yesterday before he left. Um, they swept, they did everything they were supposed to do. So all that's left is for me to handle my mess. So I'm going to work on my teaching slides while I eat my breakfast. And uh, yeah. So long time no see, it is Friday. Um, and it's 11.46 in the, I guess, morning still. And my kids are at lunch, which means I'm on my lunch break. So yesterday, um, my day ended really early, unexpectedly. Um, I got a call from daycare, and I had to go pick the baby up. So I left work at like 10, which is why I didn't get back on to finish out my day. But anywho, it's the next day. It's Friday. I'm back here at work. Um, our morning went great. We did reading small groups uh, which we do every day I did my ELA lesson with the kids it went well we worked on subject and predicate um, and they have a general understanding of it, which is great for kindergarten they can identify who or what the subject is in the sentence and what the subject is doing in the sentence so that's great um, we did that and then we did um, literacy centers so every friday we do fun friday so they do lit literacy centers and for my centers we don't do center rotations we just do a center of friday so we have our centers for the month and then each friday the centers will rotate between each group so yeah and then this afternoon we really do fun friday up but we have to do our science lesson first which we're doing a weather unit so we're just going to do our kwl chart to introduce the unit first and then we will do um a fun activity i'm thinking i don't know if i have shaving cream or not but I'm thinking I might do that on their tables because their tables are really gross. And then that way they can clean their tables off. Or if I'm feeling adventurous, we might make slime. That's a big or because I don't know if I have enough glue to make the slime. But if I do, then we can make they can make slime at, as a table maybe. Or we can do silly putty. I don't know. I have to go check out my science cabinet to see what we have. But anywho, I'm going to stop rambling, eat my lunch and then figure out what our fun activity for this afternoon will be. So it is actually Monday, January, I think it's the 13th today. So I wasn't able to close out last week's vlog because um, the kids were just crazy towards the afternoon. So we didn't get to do our fun Friday activities. But anyway, I just want to come on here before I started a new vlog for this week to let you all know why I didn't close out 
next week's vlog. So, I will see you all when I get to work. Yeah. <laughs>